Hey, this is Dan Marson. I just wanted to show you how to use some state of string functions to clean up your data and prepare it for some inversion, maybe isolating the first name from the last name in any strings that you might have where you want to do that. Um, but in general, I just want to clean these strings up, make them all kind of uniform in some way. So I've logged into econstat and I've changed my directory. So it was already in the M drive and I've changed it to this demo directory that I have some files in I'm going to show you guys. So we're going to open up a do file and this one I have here uh, is name substitution and it's pretty simple all I really do is I just use the replace command on the name that's in the file and if your name in your data set is not called name you'd have to change these or you'd have to rename the variable to name either way and you just use the function sub in string and then you take the thing that you want to sub or where you want to do the substitution and then the thing that you want to change and then here's the output, what that's going to be. So you start with the William, you're going to end up with William typed out. Same down here, Charles and Charles. Any of these forms of John will get changed to John. Um, any of these forms of Robert will get changed to Robert. So I have a data set where, you know, a lot of these abbreviations are used and I want to spell it all out, right? Um, I also want standardization on junior and senior. I want it to be written out like that because when I do a fuzzy match, where I compute the distance, you know, the difference between any two strings, I want junior to be a pretty big difference from not having junior. So I want the full thing to be written out. Uh, down here, there's a lot of deceased people or estates in that, and I want to standardize that so that I can mark them just by finding the word deceased or estate in the string. Um, there's a lot of corporations, you know, and they have abbreviations like American, manufacturing, and national, but really I just use the sub and string function all the way down the file. There's one that's a little bit more complicated where uh, I also have addresses and I want to standardize with the addresses. So what I really should have done, sometimes I have the same thing written out in capital or in lowercase. I should have run a proper on these where I say, you know, replace address equals proper of address. So then that'll turn everything into you know, it treats it as a proper noun, basically, where it'll capitalize the first letter and every other letter will be lowercase. So I wouldn't have to worry about AVE all being capital. I could just use this one here, and they would all be changed after I had run proper on the string. Um, if you have street, then actually I want to abbreviate those as ST period because I might have something in there, like maybe they live in a town called St. John's or something, and I don't want to change that accidentally to street John's. So I'm actually going to reverse and use the abbreviation on street. Everything else I'll turn into road or boulevard. You know, I don't anticipate that there's anyone with the abbreviation BVD in their address, and it doesn't mean boulevard. Um, a lot of these are specific for um, New York, so we have this B-way to Broadway. Here I say that, you know, building was sometimes abbreviated as BLDG, and I had already replaced, you know, BLD for boulevard, so anytime I have boulevard G, replace that with building. So I could have also put it above to have, if it was BLDG, change it to building. So that would have been another way to do it. Um, you know, place, drive, square, all these different ones, all these different abbreviations of New York, Long Island, Brooklyn, and then all your ordinal numbers, all the different ways of saying first, second, through tenth, basically. So anytime I have a zero H or, you know, this will cover any kind of 19th or 20th or 39th or 40th those will all be covered by this because it'll just cover the last digit and then the ending of that digit and then of course all your north south seats west this is only within a string of addresses so um, this should hopefully work but you want to be careful that you're not changing other things that you think um, should not actually be you know if there's a w that stands by itself and it's not west uh, you want to know that before you run this on the data set so that's something you can use to kind of clean things up before we move into the next step.